having been an athlete for all of my life, research has given me the opportunity to answer some of the questions that I find myself thinking, oh, is this the best way to do this? Or, you know, can I find out a, you know, a scientific answer for this question? At the highest level, so elite sport, which is the area I focus in, the margins between success and failure are so small, they're marginal. So you're really looking at those half of one percent to try and improve performance. And I think what you're seeing now is science is playing a bigger and bigger role in the development of athletes, the preparation for competition. Well, I think research in any um, environment where you want to be world class, whether it's business or sport, it's vital. And whether it's training improvements or it's nutrition or it's recovery or whatever it is, research gives those milliseconds that are needed, or that small margin that you need to be competitive in sport. I would say research is critical for the continuous development of best practice in sport, because scientific evidence points the way as to what factors we should prioritize when we're trying to optimize every individual sporting experience. And for me, the greatest achievement I could ever see is seeing an athlete that you work or have an involvement with through your research, uh, uh, ex excelling in sport and achieving their potential. I love the fact of finding new ways and new techniques to actually develop people's ability. Teams are always looking for that competitive advantage, how are they going to beat their neighbours down the road. We give them the ability to train more often and at a decreased risk of injury. We see areas like technology, medicine advancing all the time and why not advance sport as well. So they can spend as much time as possible correcting their skills on whether it's a pitch or on a track. Sport research can help athletes to gain more control over their mind and over their body, which is only going to increase performance. My sporting hero would be Thierry Henry. Uh, it's very controversial for an Irish person to say that. Watching Thierry Henry play for Arsenal, he made me fall, fall in love with football. I'd have to say my sporting hero would have to be Stephen Curry, who's a professional basketball player with the Golden State Warriors, because he embodies all of the characteristics that I admire in an athlete and it always looks like he's enjoying himself out on the court. Certainly, in terms of research, uh, the person I admire the most would be my mentor, Professor Craig Sharp. but this is approachability. You could ask Craig the most simple question and he would sit down with you and he would give you a straightforward answer. So there was no airs or graces. The main one that would stand out to me is a guy called Inigo Movita. Um, so he's a Spanish uh, researcher. So he works with a number of elite, elite triathletes, so a lot of which kind of compete in the Olympics. But as well as that, he also does a huge amount of research in the area. So he kind of combines the both research and the practical aspect of it. So it's very much translational research, applied research, which has a real meaning in terms of impact for sports performance. So I have used eye tracking technology, uh, computer games and head mounted cameras to bring Xia Jinping into the lab. Yeah, my study is an investigation into the effects of maximal strength training on performance in triathletes. Today I was presenting on uh, home advantage in Gaelic football. I'm monitoring the motivation, mental health and training load of elite athletes from 16 teams across seven sports. So in a nutshell, I'm trying to uncover how the motivation of elite athletes changes over time and what factors contribute to those changes. It's such an incredible environment to work in, in in elite sports. Like These are people who just put everything they've got in every day. They're an inspiring group of people to, to work with and to support in their, their endeavours and I, I think I'd stay there forever if I could.